So you've mentioned slowing or halting progress. Is that one possible solution? Are you a proponent of pausing development of AI, whether it's for six months or completely? The condition would be not time, but capabilities. Pause until you can do X, Y, Z. And if I'm right and you cannot, it's impossible, then it becomes a permanent ban. But if you're right and it's possible, so as soon as you have those safety capabilities, go ahead. Right. So is there any actual explicit capabilities that you can put on paper that we as a human civilization could put on paper? Is it possible to make explicit like that? Like... Uh, versus kind of a vague notion of, just like you said, it's very vague. We want AI systems to do good and we want them to be safe. Those are very vague notions. Is there more formal notions? So then I think about this problem. I think about having a toolbox I would need, capabilities such as explaining everything about that system's design and workings, predicting not just terminal goal, but all the intermediate steps of a system control in terms of either direct control, some sort of a hybrid option, ideal advisor, doesn't matter which one you pick, but you have to be able to achieve it. In a book, we talk about others, verification is another very important tool. Um, communication without ambiguity, human language is ambiguous, that's another source of danger. So basically, there is a uh, a paper we published in ACM surveys, which looks at about 50 different impossibility results, which may or may not be relevant to this problem, but we don't have enough human resources to investigate all of them for relevance to AI safety. The ones I mentioned to you, I definitely think would be handy, and that's what we see AI safety researchers working on. Explainability is a huge one. The problem is that it's very hard to separate capabilities work from safety work. If you make good progress in explainability, now the system itself can engage in self-improvement much easier, increasing capability greatly. So it's not obvious that there is any research which is pure safety work without disproportionate increase in capability and danger. Explainability is really interesting. Um, why is that connected to you to capability? If it's able to explain itself well, why does that naturally mean that it's more capable? Right now, it's uh, comprised of weights on a neural network. If it can convert it to manipulatable code like software, it's a lot easier to work in self-improvement. I see. So it it uh, you can increased... do intelligent design instead of evolutionary gradual <laughs> descent. Well, you could probably do human feedback, human alignment, more effectively if it's able to be explainable. If it's able to convert the weights into human understandable form, then you could probably have humans interact with it better. Do you think there's hope that we can make uh, AI systems explainable? Not completely. So if they're sufficiently large, you simply don't have the capacity to comprehend what all the trillions of connections represent. Again, you can obviously get a very useful explanation which talks about top most important features which contribute to the decision, but the only true explanation is the model itself. So there's, deception could be part of the explanation, right? So you can never prove that there's some deception in the in the network explaining itself. Absolutely, and you can probably have targeted deception where different individuals will understand explanation in different ways based on their cognitive capability. So while what you're saying may be the same and true in some situations, ours will be deceived by it. So it's impossible for an AI system to be truly fully explainable in the way that we mean. Honestly Again, and perfectly. At extreme, the systems which are narrow and less complex could be understood pretty well. If it's impossible to be perfectly explainable, is there a hopeful perspective on that? Like it's impossible to be perfectly explainable, but you can explain most of the important stuff. Most of the, you can you can ask a system, what are, what are the worst ways you can hurt humans? And it will answer honestly. Any work in a safety direction right now seems like a good idea because we are not slowing down. I'm not for a second thinking that uh, my message or anyone else's will be heard and will be a sane civilization which decides not to kill itself by creating its own replacements. 
the pausing of development is an impossible thing for you? Again, it's always uh, limited by either geographic constraints, pause in U.S., pause in China, so there are other jurisdictions. As uh, the scale of a project becomes smaller, so right now it's like Manhattan project scale in terms of costs and people, but if five years from now a compute is available on a desktop to do it, regulation will not help. You can't control it as easy. Any kid in a garage can train a model. So... A lot of it is, in my opinion, just safety theater, security theater, where are we saying, oh, it's illegal to train models so big. Okay. So, okay, that's security theater. And is government regulation also security theater? Given that a lot of the terms are not well defined and uh, really cannot be enforced in real life, we don't have ways to monitor training runs meaningfully live while they take place. There are limits to testing for capabilities I mentioned. So a lot of it cannot be enforced. Do I strongly support all that regulation? Yes, of course. Any type of red tape will slow it down and take money away from compute towards lawyers. 